Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on September 25th, 2024. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update as well earthquakes, volcanoes, and world weather. Always starting out here, looking at the last two days of imagery on our sun. No major new solar flares to talk about. A couple C-class, strong ones at that. And as well, observing the large plasma filament equatorial region, right-hand side. Large plasma tornado spinning around the surface. Amazing images here brought to you by Solar Dynamics Observatory. Mixed with daily events worldwide. Looking here, the last 48 hours incoming. Active sunspot region firing away there from the crusting limb. Large plasma filament prominence there spinning around the surface with loops of plasma dipping and crashing back into the surface of the sun. Amazing images here. Looking at multi-spectrum here, pointing out the last two days of events. And as well, notable plasma filaments that we're going to be watching as they get into the earth-facing position. We've got a coronal hole turning away and one developing in the northern hemisphere and as well the southern hemisphere, but the southern one is diminishing. Amazing way to see our sun. Feeling green today, everybody. Much love and thank you so much for watching. We have eight sunspots to observe right now. Looking at these sunspots in motion. Nothing like what we've seen on the backside now, but last week we saw some pretty large black holes on our sun. Watch for those to spin around coming up here in the next few days. Current space weather conditions, we are under one, uh, level one geomagnetic storm impacts as forecasted here with daily events worldwide. Yesterday, solar winds are coming in at 514 kilometers per second jacking up to almost 600 kilometers per second with this geomagnetic event. Solar X-ray flux, as you can see, long duration C-class solar flare being detected, strong C-class solar flare. Solar proton flux is low. Geomagnetic activity hopped up to a KP5 today, and we're still hanging around at KP5. So level one geomagnetic event brought to you by this coronal mass ejection. Space Weather Prediction Center, not updating or adding to this model. So no new CMEs headed our way that we know of as Lasco 3 is missing quite a bit of data. Looking at ISWA Space Prediction Spiral here, outgoing CME showing the same prediction as yesterday. Here is tonight's Aurora View line for North America and tomorrow night's so slight chance all across Canada, more so towards Alaska and Northwest Territories. Having a look at Lasco 3, this is our sun the last two days. Big bright object on the right-hand side is Mercury. Big CME taking off from the southern region right there. But also watch the timestamp there, missing about, I don't know, 12 hours of time. Right Pretty much uh, very close there after the CME here. So, yeah, we'll have to see if they stitch that back together. Having a look at earthquakes past 24 hours. Strongest being a 5.3 here. Puerto Mordero, Mexico, followed by a 4.5. And that is right underneath Hurricane John. Very quiet through the Caribbean. Eerily quiet. North American plate. No major swarms to talk about. Notable earthquake, Cedar Point, Kansas, 2.7. But other than that, nothing major to report across North America. Sizable 3.5 magnitude earthquake here in Lanai Estates, Hawaii. And look at Alaska popping off with threes all through the Aleutian Islands. These earthquakes are from yesterday, so we are going through a very quiet time. Philippines Plate, West Pacific Plate. These are all from yesterday. The only one from today is the 4.7 there in New Caledonia. 4.6 earthquake. Turkey, Haizan, Turkey. 
Notable 5.3 earthquake here, southern mid-Atlantic ridge, 10 kilometer depth. Matching the 5.3 in Mexico. Then we get to South America, and these are all earthquakes from yesterday as well. So going through a quiet time with earthquakes is a little bit eerie, especially when there's no deep earthquakes. Not many deep earthquakes this week in Fiji. This is a look at the last seven days for earthquakes across the planet. If you live in an earthquake-prone zone, please be ready and know what to do if a big shaker comes to you. Keep your family aware and prepared, just like yourself and all your friends here with Daily Events Worldwide. Like, share, and comment down below. Nazca Plate northward up to the Cascades. Earthquake watch straight across the Pacific right now. From Western Philippines Plate, straight up to Alaska, the Cascades, then down through Central America. Let's have a look at our SO2 forecast. Big eruptions uh, through Anchorage and as well the uh, volcanic regions of Kamchatka. As you can see, big plumes scooting across the northern Pacific around the rest of the world, notable regions all through Indonesia, Malaysia, and as well Italy and the Arab states, Egypt, South Africa, notable SO2 in the Southern Hemisphere. We got some really bad air quality thoughts and prayers going out to everybody in South America right now. From Argentina north to Brazil, thousands of fires burning across the Amazon right now. Big eruption at the White Island volcano. Big SO2 plumes coming from there. Other than that, I don't know where all this SO2 content is coming from. The only known active and erupting volcano in the southern hemisphere is Mount Erubus. Having a look here at satellite imagery showing a pretty large dust storm forming off the coast of the Sahara Desert. Moving westward through the Atlantic. Got a tropical depression in front of it. We've also got a tropical depression there forming through the North Atlantic. Most likely we'll be hitting Ireland in the long range. And then we've got Hurricane Category 1 Hurricane Helene. Packing winds of 130 kilometers an hour will be making landfall as a Category 3 major hurricane Thursday by 8 p.m. Tallahassee, Florida, and then moving up into Georgia, Atlanta, and then Virginia. So please, everybody, heads up. Thoughts and prayers going out to everybody that will be affected by this very strong Hurricane Helene. They're saying Category 3 today. It could be Category 5 in the forecast tomorrow so heads up everybody having a look here look at all the smoke all across brazil bolivia and paraguay thousands of fires burning across the amazon right now very dry times through the through that region anyway and really surprised that there aren't many fires to report this season through california or westward northward towards Washington. Canada looks pretty clear. And then we've got Tropical Storm John, who is still grinding up into Mexico City. Guadalajara getting hammered by torrential rains, heavy downpours, and of course, hurricane force winds from Hurricane John. Let's have a look at our weather forecast, focusing on North America as we've got two major systems coming this week. Coastal regions of the Gulf and as well British Columbia expecting 8 to 9 meter waves with those systems that come through. Hurricane Helene through the Gulf and a strong one coming through North Pacific. Long range forecast showing another one in the long range heading towards BC and that will be a very wet and windy event. Watch for that to break up and race across the Canadian prairies and then these systems start to come in from the north. And that is a lot of snow that we'll be following 
long range forecast here second week of october i'm sure we're going to see our first snowfall parts of eastern canada have a closer dive here into the forecast model for Hurricane Helene as it is now racing northward at 12 kilometers per hour and it will be they're forecasting now as a category three when it makes landfall Tallahassee Florida heading up into Atlanta long range forecast here and then into Virginia and then it hits, smashes a high pressure ridge and lingers and possibly splits stay tuned we'll have to keep you updated on the forecasted models as they change and can change quickly another closer look here at the systems coming this week for british columbia heavy rain coastal regions heavy snow higher elevations long range forecast showing possible typhoon from the west pacific grinding up into british columbia so yeah wild weather across the planet north america seeing the brunt of it right now leave you here looking at satellite imagery of hurricane helene and hurricane john as they both grind up into north america hurricane helene almost taking the same path that hurricane michael took which was the fastest forming category five in history just a couple years back Amazing images here provided by windy.com. Download the app and you can see all these amazing images as well. Or you can tune in daily here with daily events worldwide. And see them and hear the models. And listen to the do. Thanks everybody for watching. Thanks everybody for the love and support to this channel. Nearly 80,000 followers. Let's grow. And prayers for humanity during these very crazy days. Stay aware and prepared, stay young and have fun, and get your daily due. Bye-bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.